Hey everyone, Willie Apple here, and last Tuesday, Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 9 to developers. And while I did make a video about macOS Ventura Beta 9, there were a lot more features found inside of macOS Ventura Beta 9. So in this video, I'll be showing you what else is new in macOS Ventura Beta 9. First thing is, if we were to take a look at our settings and down into wallpapers right here, we now have the default Ventura graphic wallpaper it used to be an only light and dark theme wallpaper. Now it is a dynamic desktop wallpaper and it works just like Monterey. And this gives me a lot more hope that Apple will make a screensaver for macOS Ventura since we have this Monterey one that I really like. The Monterey screensaver is also the most used screensaver I see at school, so it would be really nice to see what Apple does with a Ventura screensaver. And that's not the thing that I came to make this video for. If we were to take a look at the App Store, go to our settings, we will notice that we have a new toggle. This is similar to what we got in iOS 16.1 Beta 3, it is automatically download in-app content. So basically, it will run apps in the background, it will not show up on the dock or anything as far as I know, and it will just download apps. Not sure what this would be used for since there aren't a ton of Mac apps that does the weird downloading thing when you install the apps from the App Store upon running it. So it's nice that Apple has put this to the Mac, and hopefully one day we get an app that takes advantage of this feature. Now one more thing I would like to talk about is battery life inside of macOS Ventura. So if we were to take a look at this battery chart right here, you can see this is when I charged it, and you can kind of see that it's been really good in macOS Ventura Beta 9. This is a really solid beta. Now I would also like to talk about a few issues people have been having inside of macOS Ventura Beta 9. So there has been a widespread issue of HDMI breaking. So there's a little widespread issue with HDMI external displays breaking. So I have not had this myself yet. We'll see if I do. Could be that uh, most of these people are using an older Mac. I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully that does get fixed inside of Beta 10. I still have the issue of clocks not playing alarms when they're supposed to. So, so far inside of Beta 9, none of the alarms have been playing. So this is a pretty major issue that Apple should be addressing inside the next coming betas. And I did support a bug report back in June, and recent similar reports, there are more than 10 of them. So hopefully Apple does address this issue, since this is now saying more than 10. And also the settings app seems to be getting better, but it's still not on par with system preferences. What I mean, I really like the new settings app. It makes things a lot more consistent. It's just a lot slower than it was. So it just takes a while for things to load up a little bit, especially like battery. So hopefully we get like animations, just like we did in the system preferences. But so far, this is looking pretty good. That is all I really have to say about macOS Ventura Beta 9. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. And I'll Hopefully see you in another video. Bye!